Unrelenting Yellowstone geyser eruption sparks fear and panic among visitors. Yellowstone National Park, a cornerstone of natural beauty and geological wonder, is in the grip of a startling and relentless event. A prominent geyser, known for its periodic eruptions, has entered an unprecedented phase of continuous activity, spewing thick plumes of gas, steam, and vapor into the atmosphere for over 18 hours. This rare phenomenon has left visitors in shock and growing panic as fears mount over the potential dangers lurking beneath the surface. The geyser, situated in a highly frequented area of the park, initially erupted early in the morning, drawing crowds eager to witness the awe-inspiring spectacle. However, as the eruption showed no signs of subsiding, the atmosphere shifted from excitement to unease. Witnesses describe an unsettling scene as visitors began to question the geyser's unusual behavior. At first, it felt like we were witnessing something extraordinary, recounted one tourist, but after hours of non-stop gas and steam, people started to panic. Sunday morning, uh, spent the day until... Families were running to their cars, and there was this feeling that something wasn't right. The sheer scale of the eruption has caused widespread disruption in the park. Thick sulfurous gases hang in the air, creating a choking haze that has led to temporary evacuations of nearby trails and lodges. Park rangers, equipped with masks and emergency gear, have set up barriers around the affected zones to keep visitors at a safe distance. Despite their efforts, the unrelenting geyser has created a ripple of uncertainty, with some questioning whether the park's supervolcanic underpinnings are involved. Officials from the United States Geological Survey USGS, are closely monitoring the situation, deploying additional sensors to gauge changes in pressure, temperature, and seismic activity around the geyser basin. Yellowstone sits atop one of the most active supervolcanic systems in the world and any significant shifts in subterranean pressure could signal troubling developments. While experts emphasize that there is no immediate indication of volcanic eruption, the prolonged release of gases is being treated as a serious anomaly. Dr. Susan Mallory, a geologist specializing in geothermal systems, commented on the situation, Yellowstone's geothermal features are incredibly dynamic, but this type of sustained activity is rare. Continuous gas emissions like this could indicate pressure changes in the system, and we need to investigate whether this is localized to the geyser or part of a broader pattern of instability. For visitors, however, the scientific reassurances have done little to ease the palpable fear spreading throughout the park. And I just feel so blessed. Social media is flooded with videos of the geyser's unrelenting fury accompanied by accounts of families hurriedly packing their belongings and leaving the area. In one viral clip, a group of hikers can be seen running from the site, coughing and shielding their faces from the pungent fumes. Local businesses and accommodations around Yellowstone are also feeling the impact. Many hotels have reported cancellations as visitors cut short their stays, unwilling to risk prolonged exposure to the sulfur-heavy air. Emergency services have established response stations to aid those experiencing respiratory distress, though no serious injuries have been reported so far. As night falls, the geyser continues to roar, its plume of gas illuminated by floodlights set up by park authorities. The surreal site has drawn comparisons to volcanic eruptions, though experts caution against jumping to conclusions. It's crucial to remember that Yellowstone is a dynamic system, Dr. Mallory explained. Not every unusual event signals catastrophe, but we need to remain vigilant and ensure public safety. For now, 
Yellowstone officials have issued a temporary advisory, urging all visitors to avoid the geyser basin and remain updated through official channels.